Hello, welcome to Fantastic Learners. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel. Welcome to Ollie's Wise World. Today, let's learn about living things and non living things. Hoot! Hello, young learners! I'm Ollie, the owl, and I'm here to share some wisdom with you. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating world of living and non-living things. Let's start with living things. Living things are anything that can grow, reproduce, move, breathe, need food and respond to their environment. Living things gives birth or produce more of their own kinds. Woman gives birth to a baby. Most plants reproduce, with the help of seeds and these seeds grow into a new plant. A hen lays eggs from which chicks come out. Take this tree, for example. It grows from a tiny seed into a mighty oak, providing shelter and oxygen for many creatures. A child grows into an adult. All living things need air to breath. Humans and several other animals breath through their noses. Cockroaches, butterflies, and mosquitoes breathe through air holes in their body. Plant breath through tiny holes called stomata. All living things need food to grow. This food gives them energy to work and move. Animals eat plants or flesh of other animals as food. Plants do not need to go in search of food. They make their own food in presence of air, water, and sunlight. This process is called as photosynthesis. Now, let's talk about non-living things. Non-living things, as you might have guessed, do not grow, reproduce, breathe, need food or respond to their environment like living things do. Non-living things can be divided into two categories, natural and artificial. Take example of this mountain, for instance. It just sits there, unmoving and unchanged. Rivers, mountains, and even the air we breathe are non-living things. They don't have life like plants and animals do. And hence they are natural non-living things. Chair, television, sofa are all artificial non-living things made by humans. So, to sum it up, living things grow, reproduce, and respond to their environment, while non-living things do not. All living things are natural but, not all natural things are living things. Non-living things can be divided into, natural and artificial things. I hope you now understand the difference between living and non-living things. I'm going to test your knowledge with a fun quiz. Let's see how many correct answers you can get. Put on your thinking caps, sharpen your minds, and let's get started. Why do living things need food? All of these. Which of the following living thing do not go in search of their food? Plant. By which process do living things produce more of their own kind? Reproduction. All animals and plants need this. We breathe it. Air. Plants don't need shelter, but they need. Air. Some non-living things are man-made, some are. Natural. What does a living thing need to grow?
Food. Which one of these can move by itself? Fish. Which of these is something only living things can do? Breathe. Which of these can grow bigger over time? Cat. Today, we've learned a lot about living and non-living things. Remember, the world around us is full of wonders, both living and non-living. Hoot! Until next time, my friends. Keep exploring and learning. Thanks for watching. Fantastic learners. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel.